Right. Where are we? Who are we? What are we doing? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to the Distinct and Jovial Podcast. This is probably the world's worst intro ever known to man <laughs> on the world's worst podcast. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Would insert cheering. I can't do that on this system. Uh, my Ooh, name is Dom. It. Oh, no. No, my no we should do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the editing, the, my editing. Um, the, I'm, my name is Dom. Who am I? I don't know who I am anymore. I'm joined by my co-host Jerry. How are you doing, Jerry? Who's that? I don't know. Who am I? I yes, I'm good. I'm good. Who are you? <laughs> oh my god! What's, what's happening? I don't um, know. It is the twentieth of January. Friday the 20th of January, it is 20 past 9 in the evening. I'm wrong, Burgundy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) 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 Love it. And you're not even a Will Ferrell fan. No, I'm not. I'm not a Will Ferrell fan. I absolutely am not. Elf, the single worst film known to man. But that's... It's not right. I'm going to defend myself here. I, I'm, I'm going off tangent before I even just. <laughs> I'm going to defend myself here, right? It's not that I dislike Will Ferrell, right? Okay. There are some good, like Anchorman is a very quotable film. It and is. Therefore, I quite enjoy it. I've not. I have to admit, I've not seen the second one, but it didn't get good reviews, so I just decided not to spoil the first one by watching the second one. It's the same reason okay. that you shouldn't watch Matrix Two or Three, except for very specific sequences, because it ruins number one. Which I think is fair. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. Yeah, no, the car chase ruins it. No, I don't know if it ruins number uh, one. No, I mean the Matrix is such a high level that it doesn't really. It, yeah, but you have like you know Matrix. I know two, what you mean though. You, yeah, you can get away with watching the car sequence and the yes, um, yes, you're right. The pigeon. I call it the pigeon fight where he walks where they walk into center stage and the first time you meet Agent Smith in number two. Yes, you're right. Do you know I forgot yeah. about that car, the car scene? Yeah, because I don't really scene. rate number two and number three, and they could have done so much more with it. But that car, the car chase, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. I don't. It's not that I don't rate number two. It's like I think because number two has no has no has a beginning but doesn't have an end, so it's an unsatisfactory movie, right? And number that's three fair. is just yep. a bit is a bit so left field you kind of can't go with it and i've gone completely <laughs> off tangent to where from, from my tangent before we'd even started so um it's not that i dislike will farrell he, he's made some okay movies it's that a lot of his comedy is based on cringe or embarrassment effectively so the entire of elf every single little bit of comedy is about him as Buddy the Elf embarrassing him, doing something that you'd find <laughs> embarrassing. And because it's embarrassing, some people find it funny. I don't. I find it embarrassing. So I just feel embarrassed during the entire of the of the thing. I will admit, I've watched the whole thing. I wouldn't do it again. There's only been one film that I've actually walked out of the cinema because it was so awful. Really? Yeah. Um, and it was called, I think it was something called like Let's Be Cops. Um, and it stars who it's got some 2014 film and oh i know the film i know the film you're talking yes it's terrible it's a shocker it's got um yeah, Jake, Johan- J- Jake, Johnson, Jake Johnson. Yeah, and Damon Wayne Wayne's Wayne's Jr. Jr. Yeah, it is a shocker. It's an I, I know exactly. Film. I know it's exactly. Yeah. I won't give any spoilers away on it, but I don't think you could even if you tried. I, I don't even. Like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. Like, it's that. But there we go. That was my, there's my tangent before I've even finished the YouTube spiel. I'm going to defend myself on why I just like <laughs> Elf. <laughs> Because Fair it's enough. all so actually maybe Elf is not oh, the single worst enough. film known to man. It's the worst Christmas no. film, but it is. Let's be cops might be up there. With my worst Let, film. Let's be cops. It that is it's bad. Awful. It's really bad. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. Um, so yeah, that's yeah. That's... For good... I blocked that out of my memory. <laughs> I, I wish I could. Honestly, I erased that from my hard drive, and now you've just gone and put it back in there. You've just uploaded it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> You're welcome. No, I have to re scrub that live part of my rub. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a shockingly bad film. Right. It is. There we go. But did you see the news that I put, we posted today in our Teams chat that's coming out at the end of this year? The film that makes you crack <laughs> on this podcast. Sequel. No, I, I didn't. Oh, what, you my life flashed up. before my eyes. Me oh, oh <laughs> chick, yes, yes. <laughs> it were right boring. <laughs> it were right boring. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps giving. I actually said that yesterday to a work colleague because we were talking about another work colleague that's done so much. She's done so much with her life. It's incredible. It's like she's she tells you and you just go, "Oh, come on, you've just made that up." Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. she hasn't. No, no, no. And then and then I just feel like Babs the chicken. <laughs> my life flashed before me. I say we're right. You're right for it. Oh dear. I I, this is the, this is obviously going to be. I think this is the theme of this podcast, and we'll we'll do it. But I <laughs> I learned the other day why your life does flash before your eyes, right before you die. That's a bit dark. I dark. know it's it's a little bit dark. But the reason being is because your mind, um, whenever it's in a situation that it doesn't know, will search back through its mem- your memories to find you know to find something you know that's happened. It's why you know as a child when you fall, you tend to fall on your nose. And then your body goes, learns that. So next time you fall, you put your arms out so you don't fall on your nose because it hurts more to fall on your nose than it does to fall on your hands. But when you get to a situation where you're literally about to die, your body panics and goes, must find something to save you, even if that can't. So it just, it speed runs through it to try and find something to save you. Oh, wow. Uh, (laughs) So tangents, we're going tangents today. Dom, mm. that was I'm my, impressed. That was my fact that I learned yesterday. I did not know that. Wouldn't it be really sad if your brain's just very, very frantically going through the whole sort of sp- the spool, the, mm-hmm. f- the film spool of your life, and then it just suddenly stops at let's be cops, and for some <laughs> reason just... And that's the last thing you remember. No. Sure, no. No. Or a pineapple pizza. That's a full, that's a full Darth Vader. No, that is. That is. No. 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 Oh, dear. Any heat. Right. So we were, caught, we were on the 20th of February. We're still on the 20th of February. It's a little bit fast. 20 past Only just. Now. Only just. Uh, this is the 20th episode. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, um, and just we've we've definitely put enough of our views out, but um, the views that we've listed <laughs> in this podcast are our own and do not represent the companies that we work for, um, et cetera, et cetera. All that covering Bloody to make blah. sure that we <laughs> that we don't get share uh, prices can go yeah. down as well as up. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah. And I think how we've started this podcast is exactly what this podcast is going to be. It's a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that. Would you agree? Smorgasbord. Yeah, it's, it's a, a smorgasbord of joviality. Mm. Which I have to say, by the way, got such good feedback from the last podcast. Mm. I sort of feel, I sort of thought we were doing a fantastic job. I still do think we're doing a fantastic <laughs> job. But then if Kenny turned up and it almost felt like when I was getting all the feedback and I, I absolutely loved the 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 last episode that we did Mm. but it's like i felt like hey you know i'm doing some brilliant acting but i'm i'm just basically in just a school pantomime play playing the donkey and then evgeny turns up and he's like al pacino from the godfather (laughs) he was wasn't he he was he was pretty good he was uh, like and i think if if, somebody told me that i needed to be kind to myself today um she knows who she is but what was interesting was I don't want to define that episode in terms of like if that's our peak episode then I'm good then I'm good, right? We we you know it's it's way ahead all of the other episodes that we've ever recorded in terms of stats and things like that. And while both of us would probably agree that we didn't do this to, in terms of like stats or or to uh get as many followers, et cetera, et cetera. We wanted to just, you know, I call it the Robin Williams effect. We wanted to just affect somebody's lives in a positive manner. And I don't, uh, normally, I think both of us probably took a step back and went, 
wow, we're nothing compared to Yevgeny, right? What a legend, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <clears throat> there are many legends that we've talked about, and we'll talk about a couple more today that people that we know. But what we will say is, what I will say about us is at least we've, the, our bit is we've been brave enough to start this. That's all your fault. We've been, <laughs> I will tell you, determine it's your fault. Uh, fair enough. In a good way, yeah, in, of in course. A good way, in a great way. <laughs> and we are now then able to give people like Evgeny a platform to yes, tell his true. story. Yeah. And that that's where I think that we come in. We don't, <laughs> as we've started, <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. It was really boring, <laughs> right? That, our lives may be boring, but if we can give a platform for ordinary people that have non-boring lives to just showcase a little bit about themselves, I'm okay with that. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Well said. I'm getting better at this malarkey, I think. <laughs> you're, 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 getting pre- you're getting good at this. I think, at this. I think what helps is I actually, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with our podcast that I am currently training. Uh, training might be the wrong word. Learning. Learning how to be a more articulate, better speaker. Get rid of things like the ums. Uh, which makes my life significantly easier when I come to edit the subtitles because <laughs> then it's not like, oh, I've got to take out that um and that um and that um. I still double words, but we can't win them all. I I do that a lot. <clears throat> I started off with lots of wows and <laughs> what was the other one? I tried to stop myself, but I do use double words a lot. So I yeah. feel like Jimmy two times from Goodfellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get the papers, get the papers, that kind of thing. <laughs> it's interesting. The first run through of our subtitles, that's exactly what our subtitles come up like. <laughs> it's weird. It's really weird. That's, yeah, see, and, it's weird. It's really weird. But it, it makes sense <laughs> if we've said it in a... Co- in a it, so I've just done it there. It makes sense if you said it in a context, but we'll uh, both of us will go through a sentence and our brain will suddenly engage and then we'll go like we'll be like right I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, uh, um, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to say. Right? It's uh, it's the um foghorn leghorn type thing. Well, I say That's boy, well, I say boy. <laughs> Right, it's that. It's that. It's our the thinking time. Our mouths move faster than the way we think. <laughs> How dare you accuse my brain of engaging <laughs> give me that much credit dom so i'm offended something must engage <laughs> no. something does somewhere yeah it ain't my brain i'll tell you that and i mean jerry you brought up the first topical event that we want i wanted to I, I wanted to i've put in the document we've put in the document whatever you want to call it uh which was the the previous podcast in the russian invasion and um and I think we've already kind of said what what an episode and what 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 just what I again got to the end of that podcast episode when you said okay Jerry what what are your final thoughts <laughs> I was like uh, uh uh just I'm lost for words is are my final words yeah and I'm still lost for words really I obviously listen to the podcast again because i had to do the timings which i could do because you sent me the file (laughs) just saying (laughs) hashtag just saying i had the file i had the file you sent it to me so i could do the timings and um (laughs) i have to when it gets a bit warmer i'll wear that t-shirt i'm gonna wear the t-shirt um, You're going to wear it backwards, so it's got that ability. Yeah, I will, actually. Yeah, I think I will. I'll tell the listeners and the viewers the, 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 the story behind that in a minute. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to set the context of that. Um, <clears throat> but I listened to that podcast and just thought, in, in, a, in, a, um, in a very professional... Well, it, it was just so professional, and it was so mm. profound, and it was so moving. Um, but damn it, it also came across as so professional. It was so professional. I was listening to this going, is this us? Is this distinct and jovial? I love it. Yeah. Well, it's it's like all of a sudden we've just produced something which is whoosh, next level mm. up there. Um, and, and a big thanks again to Yevgeny, I, I mm. think. So I've been laughing so much and crying. Um, <laughs> big thanks again to Yevgeny for, for uh, coming on the show. Cause, yeah, what an episode. What an episode. 
and, mm. and we didn't even get through the entire of the content that we wanted to get through. I think we got no, through about a we third didn't. of it. We we have, we have plans for him to come back, but not till September. I think that's the what? earliest I could fit him in was September. So there you go. There's a teaser for you folks if you if you want to come back. Uh, and I've definitely been encouraging um, people that I wouldn't expect to listen to the podcast to listen to just that episode. And then if they end up listening to other ones, that's it. But uh, we definitely had a few surprise listeners, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, I want to set context for Jerry's T-shirt. So <laughs> um, as stated, we've recorded, we're recording this on the 20th of January. We release this for the next month. So this one will go out on the 1st of February when you're, it, if you're listening to it on the 1st of February, it'll be the, you know, that'll be the earliest that you can go out. But one of the occasions we recorded the podcast must have been like the 28th or something, mustn't it? It was quite late in the month. It was late in the month, yeah. And I didn't get round to editing it until the last day of the month, whatever month that was. I can't remember. Um, which meant that I, I think I finished it about one o'clock in the morning and uploaded it. <laughs> I, I set it off to go and upload and went to bed with an alarm set at half past five to, to make sure that it had been, Ooh. it had successfully uploaded. And I remember coming back in blurry eyed going, yes, it's uploaded. <laughs> Sarcastic thumbs up. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> and normally I send Jerry the audio file to him t early so that he can do the chapters, you know, slice it up. So we've got chapters on Spotify, well, chapters on the RSS feed, which, none of the platforms yet support but are due to come in soon and that we have chapters for youtube now those can be done later on if need be they're just, they're nice to have some but they're, they're 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 the things that we think of listeners and viewers so don't say we don't think of you while we're doing this podcast exactly and but on this one i didn't send him <clears throat> the file because it was live <laughs> it was live so i think the conversation went something along the lines of um a week we caught up a couple of days later and uh, jerry goes you haven't sent me the file to the chapter so i went no 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 it's it's, it's live jerry <laughs> yeah yeah i know that but you haven't sent me the file to do the, the do the chapters yes yes jerry it's on the internet it's live <laughs> yes yes i get that but you haven't sent me the file <laughs> to do the chapters. No, jerry you can go to youtube and listen to it and do the chapters from there yeah, but brilliant. Oh yeah, that... <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. I don't need the file. Yeah. So for <laughs> Jerry's uh, birthday, uh, that's just recently come around, uh, I got him a. So he's currently displaying the merch. He has the distinct and jovial uh, podcast hoodie, uh, which we we might we might distribute out to other people at some point. There's demand. There is demand. Um, There's demand. But I also got him a T-shirt that has it has the icon similar to how I have. Um, this was a Gymshark one, but there are other reputable gym closings. Or this is the best. Not sponsored. <laughs> hashtag. Just hashtag just, yeah, it's absolutely. But if they want to sponsor me, it absolutely. Um, hashtag just. The, the, my email address is on the Distinct and Jovial podcast. More than happy to do that. <laughs> just gonna plug hashtag the hashtag. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> But it's a t-shirt. But on the back, it just says, you still haven't sent me the file, though. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> which, it's the best. It's which the is best. great because it's it covers, like, must be must be A4 size and cover all the back, mustn't it? Yeah, it's huge. huge. Yeah. yeah. I love it. But, Thank you, But Tom. what's interesting is both the hoodie and I'm sure that t-shirt will generate conversation, which means, you know, I've gone into... Um, must have been the gym, not my gym, but it must have been the gym uh, that I do my PT at. And people go, no, oh, what's, you know, never heard of that podcast. I was like, that's my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it. shout out Chris from uh, the gym that I do go to, um, who has loads of followers and loads of subscribers. Um, and he was a really nice guy. And he came up and said hello the other day. Really appreciate it. Um, even though at the time he was benching more than I was deadlifting, which makes me feel very depressed, but that's a different matter. 
he's, he's insane. Oh God. I know he's insane. I was doing how many kgs? Yeah, I was doing 100 kgs on the on deadlift, which is less than my one rep max. But I was doing sets and reps, um, and he was doing 120 kilos on his bench. <laughs> and I was like, "What?" Really nice guy. Shout out to you, Chris. Yeah, well, even if you don't like him, you have to say it because otherwise he'll <laughs> he will crush you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> so yeah that's the story behind that that's this, right. had such a big tangent i don't really know what this podcast is going to be like i have no idea we've I've, we've never had a 23 minute tangent <laughs> <laughs> i did say this was going to be a little bit of this and a little bit of that i love it um, smorgasbord right oh can i before we start though before we start we were talking about legends yeah we've got to do shout outs at the moment haven't we yeah, so shout out <laughs> to your mum, because she is a legend. This is going to really annoy my sister, which is brilliant. <laughs> She's a legend. Doesn't matter how you can get as annoyed as you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that she's a legend. So she, that's My mum posted in the family chat room, so Sainsbury's does does this uh end of year review <laughs> so you know you've we've got like you know spotify unwrapped which is like in the last year you've listened to xyz <laughs> the most well <laughs> sainsbury's apparently have also done the same for what food you've bought if you've got a nectar card <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> and my mum is number one for the store that she regularly shops at <laughs> she's number one for gluten-free pizza bases <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, so she sent a <laughs> screenshot of that and she just says, not only am I a legend, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Love it. Love it. She is a legend. She's an absolute <laughs> legend. Undisputed. Oh, dear. The legend. Oh, dear. Right. And then you've got to do one more <laughs> shout out. You have definitely. For a common phrase that we're both, we're both picking up. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. So to to <laughs> to my niece, um, you know who you are, because yeah, I forgot to ask her if I could mention her name. Actually, <laughs> don't think she's no, she's not quite eighteen yet either. So I, I I won't mention any names, but you know who you are. So big thank you for coining the phrase. What the actual fringe? What the fringe? Yes. Because we, we love it. it, we use it all the time, but all credit to you. I Thank got you. called up for using it in a meeting the other day. <laughs> yeah. Did you? <laughs> so, yes, shout out to, to, your, to your niece. Uh, I've stolen that phrase and I absolutely love it. I love it. Oh, man. Right, and the final one, like, I put it in topical events, but again, it's related to just shouting people out. So... <laughs> One of our work colleagues has developed, there's no other word for it, a jingle. <laughs> Is that the word you use? It's a jingle. It's a jingle. It's very different. It's very different. So I have it loaded on my computer here purely for timing's sake, right? And I will put the actual file into the into the actual recording. So hence when you said, oh, just edit, like cheering in. I was like, no, because I've only got to edit this in. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I'd, uh, and I'd had some bleeps in the last one, didn't I? Or was it the one before? <laughs> I've definitely had to do bleeps in a couple of podcasts. I don't, uh, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> I think it was when you're talking about your favorite friend who's bought Twitter. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yeah, that was a cut, yeah. <laughs> but sh again, we, we we won't shout out the name colleague of our... The, the, oh, th this is my mouth running before my brain has engaged. So <laughs> don't always get it right. Um, this is... Shout out to our work colleague. You know who you are. But yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to play this jingle and just <laughs> listen to what everyone thinks. Um, the one thing that we do want is the lyrics. So right, I'm going to play the jingle. I'll let you know when it's finished, Jerry. Este 
clicked play again <laughs> so <laughs> i'm probably dancing completely out of time with that you well. were pretty you were you fairly go. in time actually your hands went up just was as, I? Oh, that's about good. two seconds before the lyrics kicked in <laughs> <laughs> yeah interesting <laughs> we've now got people producing music for I us mean, <laughs> i don't understand your your reference you'll have to you'll have to oh that was <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how I'm going to talk to this. So, so, did you ever see Shooting Stars with Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer? I I don't know. Let me see if I can get it up. You might, so fast to say to you, oh, the dove from above. I don't think so. What are the scores? George Dawes. No, this is, seems like a quite a bit of an adult program, doesn't it? It is an adult program from I can't remember how long. Ninety three to two thousand and eleven. Oh God, I didn't realise it's old. Yeah, as that. so I'm kind of. <laughs> I was born so ninety one. So, uh, oh, two thousand eleven, yeah, okay, I would have okay. been twenty. Um, but I don't. It's not something I would have yeah. seen. Okay. So he does this thing where he sings a song, but he sort of uses these funny sort of slurry mm. words instead of the actual lyrics. And then they have to guess what uh, the song okay. is. Right. So you don't actually know what he's singing. It's just funny words. Yeah. And that's what it yeah, sounded like. Yeah, that's, it's a little bit like that. So it's a bit like, what is it say? But I don't... I didn't want to turn it up too loud the first time I played it because I wasn't sure what type of music it was. It was a little <laughs> bit uh, jazzy. Um, yeah. And as some... It could yeah, have been could anything. Have... Technical yeah. death metal could yeah. have been anything. And as a heavy metal and EDM listener, it's like, mm, <laughs> what, what, what am I going to get in my ear holes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Love so it. I... I mean, big thank you. Like, wow, <laughs> that's a that's a honor, privilege. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it is. Uh, so, massive shout out to yourself. But yeah, we we want we want lyrics. That's what we want. We want the lyrics. We want we want to do a genius on yeah. it, so we can like have the lyrics out and understand what it is. <laughs> exactly. Right. Should we go into a podcast element now, Jerry? A uh, half an hour should. of tangents, I think, aptly describes what this is going to be like. This, as I said, it's a bit of this, it's a bit of that, it's a bit of just put hodgepodge in it together today, isn't it? It is. Food of the month. Uh, so the first, I've kind of got two bits on this because I thought they were a bit short, but they could they could be de- divisive. De- divisive. Derisive. They are, and they're strong. Yeah. Divisive. Mm-hmm. So, are condiments acceptable? That's how I phrased the question. And I, I'm just going to let you go. <laughs> well, so in general, condiments are, are fine, but you have to... But you, you wrote something, very something here where I, I just thought, yeah, very specific. And I thought, oh, okay, that's really throwing the cat amongst the pigeons. So if you get fish and chips, so to have a condiment like uh, tartar yeah. sauce or ketchup... Yeah. Right. Yeah, can't go wrong, or both. I think you and I have discussed tomato this ketchup before. with peas have a is bit of both. severely, severely underrated and one oh. of the best things ever. Tomato ketchup and garden peas, absolutely fantastic. Oh. I love it. You just you just drown yeah. your peas absolutely. in ketchup. It's so mm. good. It's so good, and it binds them all together, so you can easily pick them up with a fork. So, so condiments on the whole, acceptable. On the whole, acceptable. <laughs> what, what you said. said. So I've asked a, I a probing with, question. I Do agree. condiments ruin bacon sandwiches? I think yeah, they do. Absolutely, 100%. So, 
So when people say, oh, do you want, I'm making a bacon sandwich. Do you want brown sauce or ketchup? <laughs> None. Don't flip it. Don't you dare put anything on that. I want to taste the butter. I want to taste the bacon. I want Absolutely. to taste the bread. Don't. Yeah. There you go. Brown sauce or tomato ketchup? No. <laughs> Just no. no. Exactly. Not. How about <laughs> no? <laughs> Just, and I have a, re- right, I have a reason. I have two reasons for this. Two to two, two to two, two. All right. <laughs> the f- testing, 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 testing. One, two, two, three. two, two. One, um, two, two. I can't take that seriously because I've just it's something that you won't and un- you won't unfortunately understand the context for. <laughs> so, nah, I won't. I'll, I'll explain that one <laughs> offline. Um, okay. I, I probably won't. I probably forget, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remind you. Um, I'll remind you. The first thing is. Tomato ketchup, well, brown sauces are just offensive. I can't think of a time, really, that brown sauce is good. I like it. What is it? So, uh, uh, because there is brown sauce and then there's barbecue no, sauce. Nobody right? knows. There is, there is a thing called... Yeah, it's not... I, I think HP do it, not sponsored. And it's just purely called brown sauce. It used to be called daddy's sauce, but they probably can't have that like that anymore. Yeah, that's, that's a bit controversial. controversial. Isn't it called Parliament I sauce? I think it was called Parliament sauce. I think it's basically a very strong, fruity kind of sauce. Daddy's brown sauce. Oh no, maybe Daddy's is the um, <laughs> is the brand. Like who's Heinz. the Daddy? Oh, Daddy. Okay, yeah, Daddy's got is it. a brand. Yeah, a so brand. Da- Daddy's okay, so is it was, right. It's owned by it's owned by the Heinz company. Ah, so maybe that's where. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. A so bit Heinz. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, no. Right. Okay. So it's owned by the Heinz Company, not by. Ah. Oh, I didn't know that. Jack Daniels is owned by Heinz, by the looks of that. So the Heinz Company apparently owns Daddy's, oh, right. Heinz, HP Source, uh, Weight Watchers, TGI Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit random. And then there is a, okay. a brand which is Heinz. Not, but it's well under the Heinz company, which is things like, you know, Heinz tomato ketchup and stuff like that. So have you got a photo of HP source up on your, your oh, laptop? HP source. Let me just get HP's. Right. So if you bring up a photo of HP source and I, I knew this was the case. So you, you're asking yeah. what it is and the main ingredients apparently are tomatoes and tamarind extract. So it's, it's fancy and, tomato ketchup. Y- yes, al- albeit it doesn't really taste like ketchup, does it? But it is. It's a. It's the tamarind which which gives it that distinctive flavour. And HP stands for Houses mm-hmm. of Parliament. And if you look at the bottle, you'll see the Houses of Parliament yes. on the label. Yes, you do. There you go. What is the difference between brown sauce and ketchup? Is it just? Sh- uh yeah, yeah is that what you're googling ah right so brown sauce is flavored by dates and tamarind tamarind both have spices but they were varying type and quantity and god mm. dates as well okay so there you go you'd learn something every day but yeah anyway original point well yeah it's okay so hp sauce actually works really well with cook breakfast so if you have a full english a full english hp sauce works really well because it it's good at cutting through the grease okay yeah if that makes sense because it's quite um vinegary okay so it's actually really not i always like it with a full english i won't have it with anything else condiments are specific for specific things they exactly they are they really are well so obviously so the I find that the flavour in a bacon sandwich overpowers the bacon, and that's the bit that I want to taste. And yes. nine times out, of, yeah. well, we're going to go on to another sub question, which I haven't written down, but I, I, I want to ask. I wanted to ask and get your honest opinion, so I can either <laughs> uh, slew you or <laughs> praise you. Um, Sounds painful. Take it as you wish. <laughs> uh, temperature. You're putting a cold condiment on a hot bacon sandwich. Why would you do that? Right. Why? 
Right. You, you, yeah. You want piping hot so that bacon mm. comes out of the frying pan or the grill. Yes. Piping hot, mm. sizzling. Shove it in the bread. Some good butter. Job done. Bosch, yeah. But good butter, mm. salted butter. Bosch. Oh, mm. Bosch. If it weren't for the fact that I'm going away tomorrow, so I'd have good. a bacon sandwich, but that's fine. Oh, I love a good bacon sandwich. The My sub-question, where I've said about cold, <laughs> where do you keep your condiments? Yes. Fridge. Oh, thank God. I found someone that agrees with me. Right. Right. Who who the hell leaves HP sauce or ketchup or anything out? I've got loads of friends that don't leave it out. Despite the fact that the, the label says... <laughs> Thank you. Once opened, please, follow the instructions. Yes, it. thank you. And what what really irritates me, right, is there's many a time where you get the old, ye old sexist joke. Men can't read instructions, and yet a lot of the time people come up to me and go, "No, it goes in the cupboard." Can thou read instructions? It goes in the fridge. It doesn't go it in, the in the cupboard. The fridge. What is that? Is that is that something that's just been passed down from generation to generation? Because it, it does oh. annoy me because restaurants will tend to leave their bottles of, you know, sort of like, not posh, but yes, they just leave them out. Right. And I'm like, put it in a fridge. It should be in a fridge. It's a condiment. It needs to be refrigerated. Follow yes. the bloody instructions. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me. I have, t- I have tomato no. ketchup in my flat at the moment, which is rare for me. Everybody that knows me is going... <gasps> You have tomato ketchup in your flat? Yes, I have tomato ketchup in my flat, and that's. But I'm not using it. I I have to admit, like, this is not a condiment thing. But I'm just not a fan generally of tomato ketchup and HP sauce. That's just that's okay. a me thing. You must have peas in the house. I do. Then. Well, I do have peas in the house. Um, there you go. So you need ketchup. I actually need ketchup because I also have sugar in the house. Um, I'm where I'm learning to cook. Okay. The things. The things that. Um, Hello Fresh, not sponsored by the way, but they are pretty fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> if it's a bit expensive. The thing that they um they assume that you have in the pantry, salt pepper, fairly reasonable. Yeah. Uh, olive oil, fairly reasonable. I like the way you said wait a second. I like the way you say fairly reasonable. Those are staples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very, very reasonable. Okay. If you don't even if you don't have salt and pepper in the pantry, you might as well just. I, I don't add salt don't to know. my food once it's on the plate. Very or very rarely do. Very that's rarely. That's very do. good. That's um, very good. So yes, yeah, so salt and pepper, re, you know, obvious, reasonable. Olive oil, yeah, pretty much the same. But then they expect you to have in the pantry mayonnaise, tomato ketchup, and sugar. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, sorry, you're not. Uh, when I'm when you don't eat mayonnaise with anything like sandwiches or things like that, it's <sighs> yeah. But mayonnaise is so versatile. It's like if they say, it's like saying, "Oh, you know, oh, they expect me to have a tap no, running I water." <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. No, that's a bit yeah, unreasonable, nice but <laughs> don't get me started on taps. Because I just have to slate my mother's bathroom. <laughs> you can get stuck. She's legend. By the way. <laughs> I can't say it, it's my mother. <laughs> I'm going to slate her bathroom. Like, oh, it's, this is a bit of a rant and a bit of a tangent, but this is the type of stuff that goes on in my mind while I'm trying to buy a house. So most, so in my, in the, the main bathroom in my parents' house, uh, the sink uh, is positioned in front of the window. And to the right of the sink is the toilet and above it is the, is the cupboard with the mirror on it. So if I wanted to shave and trim my beard... How do I do that over the sink okay. and see what I'm doing? Difficult. So, you know, and, I, and they were like, well, we can't move the window. And I was like, yeah, but you can, you can move the sink and you can move the toilet, <laughs> right? And they've got no excuse. 
Yeah, you can't no, move you a window. You can move a window. They've got no excuse. They've had this bathroom down to pipes, <sighs> right? <laughs> so, you know, anyway. But the next bit, the sink around the edges of the tap is perfectly flat. Well, not, per- well, not it's flat. It's not you know, perfectly. Which means that okay. if you've got, you've got, you know, hair shavings from your beard around it, <laughs> so you run water onto the edge... And rather than the water running, it just runs off the edge <laughs> like that. It just runs outside. Whereas my sink in my flat has like a lip around it. So when you run water. Yeah, most sinks do. I yeah, exactly. Kind of I was like, who designed this bathroom? What is wrong with you as a human being? <clears throat> right. Uh, we'll move on from condiments. Because otherwise we could be here till next week. Because <laughs> I could just rant forever about them and how they're wrong. Anyway. Um so, next part of the food of the month, uh, having meals at the wrong time. I don't I've think tr- you got this. <laughs> I've tried it, and it just feels wrong. I think, wrong. I think I think Rachel would be the one that would tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> uh, I, and I, would, I think you're right in saying that she would say <laughs> I'm wrong for saying that it's wrong. Mm. But I think it's right that it's wrong. <laughs> if that makes sense, that makes no sense. Because, term, but it well, is. I think I've been conditioned for so many years to sort of go, "Oh, it's dinner time," so you expect I don't know something savoury, and then so if you if you have like a bowl of muesli or um, I don't know, just some toast with some marmalade, have which you I, not have you not just sort of got to like. Seven o'clock, and you've been like, I just fancy a bowl of cereal, or no, no never, no. I've done it. I've done it sort of consciously because I think either oh, I can't be bothered to cook, or mm. I just fancy something light tonight, and we haven't got any bread for me to make toast, so mm. I'll just grab some cereal. Mm. But as I'm eating it, I think. Just doesn't feel right, and then I finish, and and then I'm sort of left feeling very bewildered and empty inside. <laughs> bewildered and empty, but and violated. <laughs> in the same way, yeah, exactly. In the same, I would feel like that if somebody gave me a roast in the morning. <laughs> so if, if somebody if somebody dished up a, a full roast dinner, what, first for thing in the morning for breakfast, nine I'd o'clock be, in the morning. I'd be like, what the fringe? <laughs> what the actual fringe? What the actual fringe? And that wouldn't feel right. So I wouldn't feel empty <laughs> or violated or unfulfilled. I would just, it would just be all kinds of wrong. Do you have a set difference between dinner and lunch? You mentioned roast dinner. So can those be interchangeable and it be okay? it's fine but I do st- okay so I couldn't eat a, a what I'd normally have for dinner I couldn't have that at lunchtime for example during a working day okay because I I, I would just that would be me done for the afternoon <laughs> stick a fork in me I'm done yeah stick a fork in me I'm done so so I, I couldn't I couldn't do that um but I have eaten – I think it's acceptable to have a big lunch and then mm. sort of think, oh, well, I'll have a light dinner or no dinner, mm. depending on how much you've had for lunch. But, but you know, if you then think, oh, well, I'll have a light dinner or I'll just have something just to fill the gap, I'll have some cereal, it's wrong mm. <laughs> <laughs> in my books. It's wrong. I'm barbaric then by your standards because I'll eat whatever I fancy at whatever time. <laughs> and, and so you should. <laughs> but but why why I need to understand why you'd crave why do you crave cereal for dinner? I <clears throat> I will always have the three meals. Generally, not necessarily in the right order. Just though. not necessarily, and I mean tradition. Like ninety nine percent of the time, I will like my, my like my I've got a fairly standard kind of routine in that. Generally, I will have <clears throat> um. Cereal and a protein shake for breakfast. I will have 
something like scrambled egg on toast or uh, uh, what else do I tend to have? Or some kind of sandwich. Bacon sandwich? Mm, not often bacon. Uh, sometimes. But yeah, something like that. But I will that will generally be my evening meal. Okay. And I generally have a full meal during the day. But that's purely because if I'm training Taekwondo, I've got to yes. leave my flat yeah. at like four o'clock. And then I don't get back till nine. <laughs> Normally, I'm like, I want to go to bed. <laughs> so I will, I have all my meals between sort of like five o'clock in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon. Five in the morning. It, just the way that I just structure my day, if you know what I mean. What the actual fringe. <laughs> it's, five it's very... in the, are you, do you hear yourself, Dom? Five in the morning. Absolutely, I do. It's middle of the bloody night. It's very true. <laughs> I woke up at quarter past six yesterday because oh, I had right. to go into work. And it was pitch black. And I went and had a shower and brushed my teeth, and got dressed, got all my <laughs> stuff ready, and it's still bloody dark. That's yeah, true. Although I have noticed, and we we wouldn't be British if we weren't talking about the weather. I've noticed the last couple of days at four o'clock, it's not been dark. I have noticed that. Yes. In fact, I, I commented <coughs> on it today and went, ooh, it's, got, it's gone four o'clock and it's still light. <laughs> nice. I know when I left for Taekwondo, it was, I was like, headlights are still on. That's I don't have a choice, they're automatic, but um, it was like pitch black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've turned the corner because 21st was the winter solstice, wasn't it? So yes. we're coming up to a month now. Yeah. Of yeah, yeah, month, month tomorrow. Being, yeah, month tomorrow. So, uh, as, as we're recording this. Yes. So, yeah. Um, absolutely. But yeah, going back to the meals. I, I Yeah. One of the things I'm probably most guilty of is if I have a meal and I don't have anything in the house that I want after the meal, if I fancy something sweet, then I'll get a bowl of cereal. That's kind of yeah, like... Yeah, but, yeah. but it's almost like a whole meal in itself. <laughs> so you're having a, a, a sweet meal after your savoury meal. Yeah, 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 pudding, like you do at restaurants or things like that. No, it's have more a meal. Is it more of a rather meal than or, a course? Or, yeah. Let me let me ask you a question. Do you measure how much cereal you're putting in, or do you just grab the box and go? <laughs> I tend not to measure many things. <laughs> ah, that's why the shelves are wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. There is evidence proof for your wife on why everything in the house is falling down. Did you measure that? Of course. Put the I photo did. on. It's about two Start inches. It's not sliding off. It's fine. It's fine. Oh dear. <clears throat> so, but if you actually measure how much cereal you should be putting in, it is a. <laughs> it's a. It's a disastrous. Th- the small amount compared to what most people probably have. Wait one second. Are you talking about what they recommend? Mm. If you actually so measure, they... so Cheerios, I know, is about is thirty grams. Is the thirty actual... grams? Thirty grams. That's about four Cheerios. <laughs> Cheerios are very light. <laughs> they are, but still, thirty grams is a very light weight. Yes, but it's and it's not a lot. So they said, wait one second. So, so they're saying 30 grams is the recommended <clears throat> portion serving. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. when you get these, you get these meals in ready meals, for example, in the supermarket and you mm. think, oh, I'm looking forward to eating that. And then, and then you're tucking <laughs> in, you finish and then you go to throw the packaging out and it says, oh, that was to serve four people. And you go, what the fringe, <laughs> yes. the actual fringe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or you get the one, the the one, the the ready meal that's for one person, and you look at it and you go, <laughs> well, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yep, <clears throat> thirty grams for Cheerios, forty grams for Shreddies. These are very light weights. Mm, they're very light weights, and I have in the morning thirty grams of Cheerios, a hundred and fifty ml of milk. What you weigh it out? I do. I do. Okay. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I learn something new about you every day. I can, in fact, I let me if I log in. 
I'm going to Google 30. What, what does 30 grams Cheerios look like? It's not a lot, I can tell you that. Although the ratio to milk and Cheerios is, is accurate. Very accurate. Well, I'm glad they got that right. I've just, I've just logged, I've just logged back into my fitness pal. Apparently, today was my 1,500th day in a row of logging into my fitness pal. Interesting. Sorry, 1,500th day. 1,500th day. Flipping heck! So that's five years. Uh, oh yes. come on! I've just had a look at 30 <laughs> grams. That's absolutely ridiculous. 30 grams of Cheerios is 115 calories. And uh, 150 <laughs> mil of, I have to admit, I have blue full fat milk is 98 calories. You know, that's still what depresses me, though, What's is that? you go, oh, that's 98 calories. Mm. And you'd have to run at full pelt <laughs> for four days just to burn off <laughs> 90 calories. It's so depressing. <laughs> Isn't it? Really? Yeah. What is the calorie burn? How many calories? As a rule of sudden, the average person will burn a hundred calories per mile. It's a it's a it's just it's just over a mile that you'd need to run to burn that off. Uh, but it's it obviously varies. I think if you're gonna do it, just go for it. Have half a kilo of Cheerios. That's one way of doing it. Four pints of milk. <laughs> Just go for it. Don't do things by halves. Oh, my God, Dom. <laughs> no, I can't look at this. It's upsetting me. I'm closing the tab. <laughs> closing the tab. 30 grams my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's made you feel very depressed, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. It, the whole thing is just depressing. Don't waste stuff. <laughs> Don't measure it. Just give it large. <laughs> just pour the milk directly in the carton and just what, shove it in. What is the? What is the? It was an old advert, and <laughs> I can't remember what it was advertising. Um, but I think it was like, oh god, what was it? One of the adverts was he's on a football pitch and they're playing football, and then he just goes and he just he whacks the ball as hard as he can, and he just oh. goes, "Have it." <laughs> Come That's. On. The- Yes, that's that. a no. I tell you, and I exa- I know exactly which advert that is, and is one of my favourite comedians, whose name now escapes me. Oh, Peter K. Peter K. It's is Peter K. Yes, it's Peter. Yeah, K. and it's for I think it's for John Smiths. Oh yes, John Smiths the beer, no nonsense. And, and they're warming. <laughs> yes, and they're warming up, and he just kicks it. and goes, have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have it. That's what, Love that. that's what that was what that like your phrase just there reminded me of it's just bosh. It's like Abish. <laughs> just don't bother measuring thirty grams. <laughs> I didn't think its scales could even it's so light. I don't think it'd even register on scales, would it? <laughs> oh, so dear. depressing. I'm so, glad. I'm so glad we had that conversation. You have to do five Iron Mans in a row just to burn off <laughs> the calories. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I'm at 24% uploaded by the way hashtag to say, <laughs> hashtag to say. for those I might cut this for, might cut that section out but for those that um, just, just for context there <laughs> Jerry had a crash um, we didn't have we didn't have it when we had Yevgeny on which I was quite glad but you did have four the oh yeah thank one. goodness and unfortunately it's a new crash yeah. so we're a little bit nervous about whether we've lost the podcast uh, which we always do uh, it just seems to be what we we seem to go through. <laughs> Any hoot. Any hoot. <laughs> Any, that's twice I've said that. Any hoot. <laughs> right. Shall we go on to poignant questions? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so, poignant question number one. Oddly satisfying things. More than 30 grams of Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly oh. satisfying. I know I, I read this in prep for this session, the mm. sesh. Oddly satisfying. Peeling wallpaper mm. is oddly satisfying. Mm. You have the that weird thing where you have like a little bit of skin, dried skin protruding from your thumb, for example. Blech. And this always happens. And then you go to peel that and I then know. it ends up peeling all the skin off your entire hand. 
I'm and just then... a, I'm just looking through the oddly satisfying Reddit at the moment, and none of them are oddly satisfying. They're just they're just not they're just things that are there. And for me, like oddly satisfying things are like oh, I really want to find a really good example. Yeah, oh, there you go. So someone's arranged like a, the the boxes to of like uh, beers or something to form like characters. Or there's a there's a really cool video where the bricklayers have got the bricks like lined up like that, so they're like half on top of each other. So they're piled oh, up, okay. and then they plink one, yeah. and it goes. Yeah, dominoes. Yeah, Dom- like when it's stacked, Dom- dominoes. Dominoes that, falling over. Oh, that's yeah. just that does something to my soul. That I love it. <laughs> it, and it is oddly satisfying. It's oddly satisfying. Yes, Ooh. I'm having a look at that Reddit. This, this is properly random, Dom. Some of them are probably random on there. Like then, and then I wouldn't. I disagree that they're oddly satisfying. But it's like usually their time lapse videos are really nice and and things like that. Um, yeah, I got at just the right angle, it looks like the moon is caught in this crab claw shaped rock. Yeah, that is oddly satisfying. Oh. That one. Do you think so? Yeah, it's just a bit random. The way the snow fell on my parking spot at work today. Yeah, there's there's a few. There's a few. Oh, okay, okay. So breaking. Breaking ice mm. that looks like glass. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. And then you step on that in the oh, puddle. That's oddly that's satisfying. That's oddly satisfying. Oh, that does things to my soul. <laughs> uh, oh, I tell you what else is oddly satisfying. Mm. This is going to seem really weird. It's, oh, it's supposed to be odd. That's so weird. Yeah, it is. It's, it is oddly satisfying. So. Holding anything that's egg shaped. Yeah, I, I get it. Okay, so if you yeah, so if you go to if you go to the beach and you pick up one of those very smooth mm. big pebbles, mm. and it's sort of egg shaped, but you, when you hold it, it's 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 oddly satisfying. Mm. No, I know what you mean. I know, I know, no, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. That's that's definitely that's definitely a thing. Like, and it's. Um, I'm just trying to think how to phrase this. It's a, um, there's certain like textures, like both ways. So there's some that you kind of, yes. you go, oh, that feels so good. And there's some that you're like, Ugh. velvet is, is oddly satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, when you brush yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I was doing. And then you brush it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's oddly satisfying. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So that's a yes for oddly satisfying, definitely. Yes, and sorry, just one thing to add to that, and it'll be interesting to see what reaction we get to this. So egg-shaped chocolate. I don't know if I've said this before. No. Have I said this before? I think so. So egg-shaped chocolate tastes better than any other shaped chocolate, and I can't. I don't know why. What? I can't put my so finger on it. Easter eggs, Cadbury's cream eggs. Yeah, yeah, Cadbury's cream eggs, Easter eggs, any. Any egg. So, you know, now that you can get the, um, yeah, cat, mini eggs. Oh, mini eggs are good. <sighs> oh, come on. Get in. Have it. <laughs> and then That's the... Really <laughs> <phrase>. <laughs> Have it. And then you've got the, <laughs> those solid <laughs> egg-shaped dairy milks that you get yeah, at yeah. Easter. Have <laughs> it. It's also very oddly satisfying. Yeah, it is. It is. There is nothing... Sa- there is something quite satisfying about just getting a ball and welling it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you don't need I'm to now, control it. You just I yeah. now have an image of a a guy called Stephen Trice, right? And they're rec- like a lot of the YouTubers that I watch seem to be football YouTubers. So despite the fact that I have no interest in football, they're they're normally quite comical. And he's to put it in perspective, he's he's fairly short, so he's probably what five foot five, maybe five foot six, okay. right? Ginger very good comedian but he's doing a football challenge with some of some of the youtubers and he he runs up to this ball that's running to him and he just goes for the year threes and then wellies it 
Just put a year three. And it's like, what goes through this guy's mind? He's he's proper genius. Like Stephen Tries is very very Excellent. funny and proper. At some, how are you spelling Sonny? Uh, tries T R I E S. Stephen Tries. Okay. I think he might be P H rather than V for Stephen. It's it's a very oh, it's a very off up. brand comedy. Okay. Like, it's right up your street. <laughs> it's right up your street. I'm going to look him up. Oh, dear. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> just suddenly, yeah. Just bear with me whilst I sit here for an hour, looking, watching Stephen Tries videos. Poignant question number two: <laughs> ASMR. Do you even know what ASMR is? I do. Is that? So it's kind of linked with oddly satisfying, which is paying is. attention to, to sounds, isn't it? Like um, the the crumpling of paper, or or yeah, um, autosensory median response That's is a tingling one. sensation that usually begins um, a pleasant form. Um, so it's like people will like. A whisper into their mic yes. so that it really gets inside your soul. Or they might drum fingers on it. Jerry's currently cringing, I'd imagine. In different ways to, to kind of get that, you know, that sense thing. So that's what ASMR is. And yes, it is kind of linked. I just picked two of the poignant questions that I thought uh, and I, in order and maybe I wrote them I together. Like it. Is uh, it something that you like? I've never given it enough thought. <laughs> it's completely in. It's in, so in, left neutral. field. I it had to look it neutral. up. Yeah, because you you just put ASMR. I thought, yeah. oh, all right, Dom, just put some <laughs> random letters. Why don't you? I'm going <laughs> asthma, AS Mister. What? Is that a type? Yeah, I had to Google it, and I thought, okay, well, this is a bit weird, bit of a weird subculture. It's interesting because I hate it. Can't stand it. It, it, it makes it's me, a bit odd. It makes me feel. It's like so. Um, it's like people come in if they come near you and breathe on your neck. Oh no! Ah, yeah, tickles. That's when you do the yeah. elbow back. Yeah, get off. Get it, away. It, it makes me do that. Like it makes yeah. me tense this way. Oh, like that. And I've actually, ta- oh, it's making me go all funny. I've torn my shoulder doing that before. Have you? Have you really? That must have been painful. Oh, it was painful, yeah. Tore, tore my left trap. Don't like it. Ouch. Ouch. Um, whereas I obviously, I know people that are like, yes, touch my neck. That's a really good area, shall we say. <laughs> Let me phrase it. What the actual fridge? It's so ticklish. Yeah, keep away from my neck. Oh. <laughs> No, don't do it. I can't do it. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on before it makes us moving on. Uh, speaking of the languages. What about it? <laughs> I, oh, we've done, it's been so long since we've done like poignant questions. These are normally like like or loves or hates type oh, thing. Uh, d- don't, so I would love, I would so love to be able to speak another language. Mm. Like fluently. Yeah, I'd love to speak fluent French. Or Italian, or even Japanese, Chinese. Yeah, I said oh, you Chi- did pretty Chinese. good German the other Mandarin. Earlier. Yeah, German. <laughs> <laughs> They're just stock phrases. Um, but I, I something about trousers there. <laughs> yes, Scheiser is <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, um, I would love to speak another language. It bugs me that I can't because I really do struggle. Uh, and I discovered something talking of languages. So John Cena can speak fluent. Uh, is it Mandarin? I think it's Mandarin. Yes. Yeah. John Cena. Yeah. John Cena. Yeah. 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 I yes. thought it was a wind up. So I was watching stuff on YouTube going, that's not John Cena. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and then I Googled it and thought, no, he speaks fluent Mandarin. Chris Hemsworth speaks Indonesian. What? <laughs> it's a bit rough. Because obviously Indonesia is, is not that far from Australia. True. So they, they, they wow. teach it in Australian schools. Do they? Really? Yeah, yeah. Because it's only about a three hour flight or something ridiculous like that. In some Australian schools, they teach it. So Chris Hemsworth knows Indonesian. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, wow. What's, his, what's his face from The Hangover? 
Oh, now you're going to have to not be... So... Oh, what's his name? Is it wise for you to be Googling things? The no, no, room? no, I'm not Googling anything. If... if... Oh, what's his name? So uh, Bradley, Brad- Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. He speaks fluent French. Yeah. I've watched him do interviews in French and he just... Yeah, get... I get insanely jealous, not because he's like rich, famous, <laughs> insanely good looking. Just the fact that <laughs> he speaks fluent French. It's just about <laughs> I mean, your French isn't bad. I've seen you in action when you're uh, speaking to people. C'est pas mal, c'est pas mal, oui. <laughs> c'est better than mine. D'accord. <laughs> <laughs> about the only phrase I know is uh, un table pour f- Oh no, that's that. No, I, I was going to wrong. I always mix Spanish in, into it. I always mix Spanish. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to embarrass. Were you about to say por favor? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'll get me coat. <laughs> <laughs> coat has been gotten. I shall walk out of it now. Check, please. <laughs> oh, dear. yes, I agree. I'd love to be able to speak another language. And I did do Duolingo for a while, but just consistency and. And uh, all that. And Duolingo gets pretty aggressive. <laughs> yeah, if you, it doesn't it? Yeah. Duolingo kind of like taps you on the shoulder in the middle of the night and goes, Oi. <laughs> Oi. You skipped a lesson. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. all right. All right, Owly. <laughs> Calm it's down. One of, it's one of my favorite sets of memes. <laughs> it's anything to do with the Duolingo, Al. <laughs> He gets you. You start off and you go, "Oh, he's so cute." And so long as you're learning and you're doing a bit each day, yeah, Owly's cute. As soon as you skip a day, Owly's Owly turns. Yeah, he does. He absolutely does. Yeah. Oh no, man. <laughs> genius. Absolutely genius. I just suddenly had a panic because I thought, "Did I hit the record button?" But I definitely oh, did. Oh. I like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just recording this side. What is oh. this podcast has been an absolute mess? Like, I'm so glad that the Elise of Guineas has kind of came across okay. Yeah, and it was perfect. It was flawless, wasn't it? <laughs> no, but... it's the pa- power of Evgeny. <laughs> no, but really, what the, what the fringe? There was three of us <laughs> on the session, and it was perfect. Goodness sake. Anyway, right. Anyway, enough about our technical difficulties. Uh, Point at question number four, linen clothes. Oh, love a bit of linen. I don't think I own a single pair of linen stuff. What? You need to get yourself a white linen suit. (laughs) White linen suit. Is this just so you can call me by my full set of nicknames that you have for me? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) You need to do it. You need. To, I think from now on, you should. That should be your standard look. A I don't think I could pull suit. it off. Yeah, you could. You I don't so think I could. could. You could with the sleeves rolled up, white linen <laughs> suit. Yeah, with the sleeves rolled up. What no you, socks. So, <laughs> so, no, absolutely not. No, right? seen these Espadrilles. Angles. No, seriously, and just just like a pastel coloured t shirt. I'm like, I'm six foot three and built like a beanpole, Jerry. It does not work on taller will men. Work. It, it does will work. Not. It will so work. And I'm also a white man. It just does it's, no, it looks work. fine. Just a bit of fake tan. You'll be fine. <laughs> just <laughs> honestly, just dip me. In trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that will last for a long time. Just, <laughs> just. Trust me on this. And a, and a pastel, either blue or pink pastel t-shirt. Oh, God, I've never worn pastel yeah, pastel yeah. anything or pink anything ever in my life. You need to go for it. No. You need I to don't. throw caution. Oh, the colours that to... suit me are these, like the bright ones. You need to throw caution to the wind. Well, pastels are bright. <laughs> throw no, caution to the wind. No, it's, it's just like that paleness. It just, just brings out my... <laughs> smear a bit of creosote, whatever it is you need to smear on. Give yourself a splash of colour. White linen suit. No socks. Oh, sleeves God. rolled up. No. Dom, just do it. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Honestly. Like, and I'm not a fashionable guy, but I cannot think... Oh, God, I'd look terrible. Just think Don Johnson, 1984. Don Johnson, Miami Vice. That's the look you want to go for. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Oh, definitely look it up. You could, you could absolutely rock that. You'd have uh, to wear. You'd have to also go a bit. Um, 
Uh, what's his face? Oh, no, I couldn't oh, do Pitbull. that. You'd have to go a bit Pitbull as well. So you'd have to wear shades. No, at, I indoors. can't do that. I can't <laughs> you do can. that. Like, white yeah, you linen trousers. So there's an, I've got an image here. He's wearing white linen trousers, no yep. socks, white, um, like, brogues, I think they are. He's got a pastel blue jacket and a pink <laughs> polo shirt. Yes. I yes. can't do that. You can. I can't. You a, can. I'm not in so Miami. Can. And B, I just <laughs> don't. You, you're close enough to the sea. <laughs> not only that. There's another picture. So he's got the pastel blue linen trousers as well, but nice. they're high waisted. Yes, <laughs> they're above his belly button. Just you like need that. it. You need it about two inches below your nip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two inches below the nips. You never go full Simon Cow. <laughs> no, and you need pleats. You need full on. Yeah, well, they're not quite Simon Cow. That well, it is kind of Simon Cow, but because it's pastel and it's linen, it's okay. and and you've got long pleats. I think you'll get away with that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Two inches below the nips. There are things that I've done in my life that I regret. <laughs> and there are things that I've kind of gone, I'm not going to do that because I'll regret it. This yeah, is that, one of I the latter. Be, yeah, I think that you would regret that. <laughs> it would look awful. Dark colours. I was, I was that type of person. So I don't have any linen clothes, so I don't know how good linen is. I did look at getting some purely when the temperature was 97 degrees in the UK. Yeah, so I was great. like, I just, I just want something that's not hot. <laughs> Actually, so on a serious note, on a serious note, um, it, if a, a nice, good quality uh, beige linen suit, mm. right, with, with a pale blue, powder blue shirt. Mm. And a gold tie, gold tie, okay, or 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 even a oh, I don't know, just some sort of tie that will go <laughs> with it. Um, that's smart. That's pretty smart. Is it, is it is it Rachel acceptable? That's the question. Oh hell no! <laughs> no, she'd be embarrassed. She'd be so embarrassed. She should literally just. Want to whack me over the head with a spade and just bury <laughs> she didn't me. see you wearing your Mister Worldwide sunglasses last Mr. podcast. Mister Worldwide, <laughs> Mister Worldwide. Yeah, you know, I was actually thinking of wearing sunglasses every podcast episode. <laughs> every podcast episode. Really, I was going to do it. Whatever happened there? Good catch. I heard it something, wasn't, and it then wasn't you... a good catch. It did go everywhere. Oh, did it? Oh, <laughs> don't. Because I, I thought, oh, it's he's just used bad. Mr. Miyagi type like... reflexes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> next to next to me. I have my printer and my. Um... Oh, I, I've killed her. Oh no! Oh, she's dying a bit now. My, um, I can't say him because she'll she'll call out. But the. Um... Amazon device that calls that, that says things. Oh no! Um, the thing is, that that's the fourth time that she's taken <laughs> she's taken a full glass of water, and every time she's recovered. Um, but she has now switched on because um, it, it. The only thing it went over, I think, is that. Yeah, it's only gone over that. Um, and every time she's managed to recover, I think this was this one might be the death of her. Looking at it, oh, she switched herself off now. So you know what, Dom? <laughs> you know what? That was one glass of water too many. It was in the bottle, and I was I I literally just reached out to, to get, put the lid down, and that's when I knocked it. So it just. <laughs> but it looked oh. like from here, it looked like you caught it, and I thought, ah, oh, I go. I kind Mr. of half Miyagi. caught it. It kind of threw right. water, but it didn't like fall. I didn't fall and just splash. Okay. Everywhere. Um, just a little bit on the floor, and this is, uh, so this is gonna again. This is. This, <laughs> What is this podcast like? <laughs> this Honestly, is definitely people, the most random. We do this podcast. Right, we do this podcast for enjoyment, <laughs> right? We have like tw- I've got twenty clips now to go and edit and clip through to try and make this <laughs> some kind of sense. And I think what I'm just learning is sometimes things don't go to plan. And I said earlier that somebody said to me, "Be kinder to to myself," but that is the. F- I'm going to swear. That's the fucking third time I've done that in the last two months. 
And the other day, right, the other day, I so I've got a um, I've got a placeholder mat next to me. I'm, in fact, I might even show it on my camera. So, right, I have a I have a placeholder mat here. Right, that's that's my placeholder mat. And I had on there a full pint of water, and then I had my protein shake. Like just, just like casually, I was drinking my protein shake and a full pint of water ready for me to drink after breakfast. And just without even thinking, I just went bang. Like I just went, oh, oh just go and put no. that on. And it went oh, everywhere. No. Now you can see just about the printer, right? <laughs> and no, you I think can't. that's fine. But between the printer and the desk is the, um, is the, is the dot. And then underneath is my switch. And then on the right hand side is like, where I keep all my cooking books. And it's just like, well, well done, Dom. The only way it could be worse is if you knocked it that way into your gaming PC. Oh, good Lord. (laughs) And somebody said to me, like I said it earlier, somebody said to me, you need to be kinder to yourself. But this is where I go, what the actual fringe is wrong with me? Why am I such a flipping clown? Are you just like, oh, the actual fringe? Uh, so yes, it's um, pretty Love standard it. for me to knock something over. Um, <laughs> my my parents hate it, and it, it's horrible because they'll go, "How have you managed to misplace your keys again?" And I'm like, "Because there's nowhere for me to put them when I'm at your house." Whereas at home, they go in the same. I have to have systems. It's horrible. I hate it. Yeah, it's important to have systems. If I don't have, it's systems, important. It just... Yeah, you have. To... Yeah, there's nothing worse. So. You have to have a regular place to put your keys. Yes. You always know where to go and yes. you know your keys will be there. Yeah, you have to have systems. I yeah. completely agree. If, if I come into the house and I'm feeling a little bit lazy and I don't put my keys in my desk drawer, they literally could poof, disappear in a cloud of smoke. They will go to the fourth dimension. And it'll be things like, great, so which pair of trousers did I walk in? Are they in the pockets of them? Did I put that pair of trousers in the washing machine? Exactly, yeah. Has that washing machine been on since I've been home? And then it might be, oh, no, wait, did I put them in my coat pocket? Which coat did I wear? Did I wear my waterproof coat? Did I wear my winter coat? <laughs> did I put them on the inside? Did I put them on the outside? Did I, then I'll be like, then, if, then I might have gone, or did I put them in the big hoodie of my, like, on my jacket? And, and it'll be like, oh, did I put them? I hate it. I hate my brain when it's like, I do all, like, I am a reasonably intelligent man, right? I, I can do maths. I can write. I've produced this, po- I can produce this podcast. I can do things like that. But for a reasonably intelligent man, I am the, one of the most idiotic people known to, known, known to man. Right. I'm going to, you know, me trying to do the timings on this is going to be interesting oh, as well. Just, be I, going, even I don't know where we are in the, <laughs> just, I just don't even. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, right. <laughs> Try not to be kinder to yourself. Be kinder to yourself. Be so, kinder to yourself. And on my screen, Jerry has frozen again. Yeah. Which oh, means I might have lost crunch. you again. Can you hear me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you back? Did you hear that one? I did. You hear- Are you alive? <laughs> Yeah. I am alive. Artificial I don't know what it said. Are you alive? Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. What's even better is I'm still recording. <laughs> Dom, well, listen, before we go any further, yeah, something's going horribly Pete Tong <laughs> so tonight. Pete Tong. Yeah. Should we... Should, We've done a fair chunk. Should we stop at the end of pointing questions, or do you want to keep going to, or, or record like the next bit separately some other day, or how do you want to do this? Let's let's keep all of this in just so people know. What a <laughs> fucking disaster! <class> that, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is. <coughs> I've. <laughs> Wait, so looking... can I just say, can I just say that's got to be the highlight of my week? <laughs> you bending over the, the smart speaker going, are you alive? <laughs> I'm keeping that in. <laughs> I'm still recording. I'm absolutely keeping Are you keeping alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just spilt water all over her. <laughs> what did she say when you said, are you alive? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Alexa, are you alive? 
not in the same way that you're alone. She's going <laughs> artificially, maybe, but not in the same way that you are alive. Fair, That's what she said. fair play. Okay. Well, at least at least she's not broken. That's the most important thing. After <laughs> just filled with a pint of water all over her, she's still technically more proficient than what? my internet. I don't know what's going on. What's interesting? So we've probably been recording for about an hour and twenty, an hour and a half of like actual content that we've managed to get. It's eleven o'clock, so we've managed like an hour and a half content. I'm really curious. I'm going to edit this some way. I'm going to keep okay. this section I'm talking about now. I'm really <coughs> curious from our listeners, like what they make of this podcast, because it, it will probably be listenable, 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 <laughs> listenable, Lis- listenable. It doesn't sound worse. I, doesn't, I'm I not even getting, I'm not Googling anything because it will kill my internet. Lis- listenable, listenable. Must be. Is it, is it a word? Don't know. It's a word oh, now. Is it a definition? It's agreeable to listen to. Listenable. Thank oh, you. there you right. go. It is, it's a word. And okay. I'm very curious, right? I want people to just give us an honest opinion that when we have this absolute disaster class of a thing, right, that what people think of just mm. us chatting about, because we chat about complete rubbish anyway. So when it's a disaster and we keep all these in, like me asking the damn... Amazon device, not sponsored. <laughs> hashtag just saying whether it's alive or not. Because <laughs> are this, you alive? Right, because because right, the podcast that we produce is legitimately sl- not scripted, but we we come up with ideas. Yeah, we've gone way off piste. Whereas tonight. our normal comp topic of conversations are probably about as chaotic as this. Uh, yeah. Then yeah, I think you're right. It, normally, Jerry is collapsing in laughter as I'm ranting about some something at either work or outside of work. So, honestly, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what people are going to think of this podcast. And do you know what? I'm just in uh, Operation Wing It mode because we do this for fun. So, if it's shit, it's shit. <laughs> it's a bucket of hot wings. It's a bucket. It's a, it's a what? bucket of hot wings. What? It is. It's a bucket of hot wings. We're winging it. <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? Back up. Mm, hot wings. Mm. Nah, not a spice fan. Mm, yeah, I, I love a bit of spice. <laughs> That's entirely up to you. No, it's my problem. <laughs> so, <coughs> at the moment, we have managed in this podcast to talk about some topical events and show some appreciation to people. We've managed to do the food of the month and we've managed to do four out of the ten poignant questions. We still have idioms, <laughs> interesting <laughs> facts, improving health, and a, and conspiracy theories to go through. I don't, Lord. I don't think we're doing all of them. But that's okay. We can do them another day. So, like... We can. We, we, we absolutely well, can. Sorry, there's something that you missed. Two things that you missed on the update of where we are. Oh, did I? So far. Okay. You... Your mum's a legend. <laughs> just, want to re- just want to reiterate that. So you, you you just glossed over that. You just skipped it completely. And the other thing is... That I we, can't we, say that. It's my mother. <laughs> well, she's a legend. And and we got, I think, kind of a tentative agreement from you that you're okay to rock a bit of <laughs> white linen. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, that's what I heard. Absolutely. That's how I interpreted it is... Is that actually? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm I'm open to this. I do not understand. Like I'm just like I might as well just continue my fashion rant. I do okay. not understand the the obsession with having trousers too short for you and then <laughs> showing ankles. I don't get it. I I don't either. Some people can pull it off. I don't get it. I, but I don't get it. I not me. That's not something I can pull off. <laughs> Well, when I was at school, if anybody had trousers that were too short, you used to properly take the piss out yes, of them. Yes, exactly, exactly. Right? Exactly. So, where's the flood? Where's the flood? <laughs> uh, very good. That's genius. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 and, then, and then if anybody wore white trousers, sorry, oh, white trousers, white socks, uh, what is going on today? White socks <laughs> with black trousers, that was it. I mean, they just got laid. But... Well, you All can kids do that. now wear, yeah, 
Now the, everyone's doing it. What? No, no. The Utes. Uh, we couldn't wear white socks as part of the uniform that we had. They had to be grey or black. Oh yeah, no, we couldn't either. We we would get we would probably get detention or whatever for yeah. for that. But people used to still, Slapped you know, the, the odd person used to do it and board yeah. rubber chucked at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Usually. yeah. Which is, you know, there's nothing ever wrong with with getting mild concussion from <laughs> your biology teacher just hurting this <laughs> solid wooden chalkboard duster. <laughs> Oh, chalkboard! No, we had we had whiteboards, so they were they weren't wooden; yeah, they were I, plastic. I'm, <laughs> I'm Oscar, so we had we used to scroll. We used to do all our notes on papyrus. <laughs> Chisels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, used to get dude. quite noisy. We were furiously <laughs> taking notes. <laughs> Sorry, can you just ah, just wait? <laughs> oh, I need a new chisel. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> Sorry, help! I'm, I'm losing the will. Like, I, honestly, this week and this. Are you alive? <laughs> Are you I'm alive? Asking sentient beings if they're alive. <laughs> what next? This is the funniest thing. <laughs> I feel like Sheldon oh. Cooper. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> mother, did you have me tested? <laughs> I will forever remember this. <laughs> I will forever remember that. It's one of the funniest. <laughs> it, you know, you know what it reminded me of. It was just the whole scene was something <laughs> like out of Faulty Towers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was like. <laughs> Are you alive? <laughs> 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 Or no file. How am I supposed to? I can't work like this. I'm going to listen back to this crying laughing game. I don't know. 14 okay. minutes. Okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you've just got to, just, you've just got to label it which which Dante Inferno ring we're at. <laughs> which of the seven stages oh of hell we've God. gone to? I, I think we're in the fourth circle of hell at the moment. <laughs> Sideways. Now we need is a hot fuzz or a chicken run quote, and then we'll be oh. good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if this is going to be bleak worthy, but I was watching it again the other night. And I thought, I just love this film. The World's End. You said Hot Fuzz, yeah, so it reminded End. me of The World's End. And I love the line when he says, what the fuck does WTF mean? <laughs> he goes, what the fuck, Gary? He's going, oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it, yeah, I get it. What the fridge? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. dear. It's, uh, actually, do you know, it's interesting, like, what the fringe I, <sighs> is, like, the substitute. There's a, there's a sketch... Um, you might have heard me say the phrase "muddy funsters." Yes. Before, and there was a sketch. Uh, <laughs> muddy funsters. Oh God, what's it called? We have gone so far off piece. <laughs> We're not even on I the same mountain sketch. anymore. <laughs> uh, it's Harry Enfield, and he does, <laughs> instead of good fellas, it's bad fellas. And there is a sketch. Um, where it's <laughs> like he's dubbed over like an Italian, <laughs> two Italian moth mafia bosses doing that. So instead of saying what they expect to say, so you muddy funster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what? I think I remember that now. Yeah, bad fellas. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, which is why you might also hear me say funsters of the muddy kind at <laughs> occasions. <laughs> Oh, God. <clears throat> my eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. God. 
Well, what I can say is we do not have a life like Babs the Chicken. Not not at this moment, we don't. <laughs> no. no. Right. Oh god. Uh let's get let's see if we can get through poignant questions. I'm anticipating okay. a crash. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, don't jinx this. <laughs> All right. Uh reality no. TV go. Uh, I hate it. Just <laughs> really gets on my bloody nerves. It's re- reality, my ass. <clears throat> it, it, most of it looks so scripted. I think all of it's scripted. And yeah, I, pretty much mm. it. And so, what's so, exactly? So, what's the point? And then, even if you take something, I've never understood the concept of Big Brother, and you know, I'm a celebrity, and. Oh, I get I'm point? a celebrity a little bit more because that's just a bunch of people doing like actual challenges. I don't get like Celebrity Big Brother or Love Love Island is my least favourite. <laughs> yeah, Love Island is ridiculous. And I'd imagine, so I imagine I don't know why, but I imagine that's something that's played in your household when that comes around. It would do, okay, so admittedly, I think there were about three seasons worth mm. that were aired in this household. <laughs> But then it got to a point, it's just like, I got to the fourth season, and I, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I literally cannot take it. This is, this is just destroying me. It's, it's, I'm dying inside <laughs> watching this. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't stand me on TV. Yeah, it's, it's shockingly bad. The worst. Life's too short. Life's too short <laughs> to watch that, that shite. <laughs> <laughs> Life's not long enough. <laughs> no. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, we're rattling through these now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Next. Uh, point at question number six. The smell of cigarettes. What the fringe? <laughs> Why? What do you expect me to say to that? Oh, yeah, I love it. Even when I was smoking, there, I hated the smell of cigarettes. There are people that like it. Apparently. Really? I can't stand really? it. Oh, no, it's awful. Look. There was a time when I smoked an obscene amount of cigarettes per day. I was a proper hardcore smoker. And even in those days when you used to go to a pub or you used, yeah. you used to go to a nightclub, right? And it just, you used to walk in, it's like you hit a wall of smoke. I used to get home and just go, smell my clothes and go, oh, that oh, is yeah. disgusting. Mm. Oh, it's just horrible. Mm. Your hair smells, your clothes stink. Yeah, you'd have to like take all the clothes off and just go and jump in the shower before going to bed because otherwise then the pillow would smell of smoke. I mean, it's just horrible. It's disgusting. Mm. Oh. I don't know how anyone can like it. No, I, I can't. <laughs> but pipe tobacco. <clears throat> does it have a now different... Now something. Does it smell different? Oh, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. I Honestly... Think... I think I briefly remember from the um, perfumes, not perfumes. Why am I saying perfumes? The fragrances podcast that you can get a pipe tobacco scent. Uh, No, 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 not pipe tobacco. You can. It's it's just tobacco. Okay. So actually, we did that whole fragrance episode. Mm. I've just realised we did that whole fragrance episode. Um, with no camera. We did. And now I can show you. So this, this. Oh, whoa. See, I take the... <clears throat> so, this is strong. Mm. <clears throat> so, as soon as I took the lid off, I went, woohoo! <laughs> it's... <clears throat> That's, that is full you on. your wife crawling all over you tonight, is that what it is? <laughs> Tobacco. Yeah, no. <laughs> no that's never going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, trust me. <laughs> so, this is... <laughs> that's a whole... That's a whole separate podcast That's in itself. Whole... But this, this, <laughs> I've not met your wife yet. I no, honestly, like that. No. no, trust me, <laughs> will not happen. Anyway, carry on. But this, so it doesn't smell like burnt tobacco. That's the that's the thing. Mm. So th- this is this is like if you had to get a pouch of tobacco oh, okay. and smell it, which actually does smell quite pleasant. Mm. That's what this smells mm. like. So not burnt. You have to hold it up to the centre. Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah that's it. Are we allowed to? Uh, Am I allowed to? We don't earn money, that? so it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, no endorsement hashtag on this hashtag, sponsors. just saying. <laughs> but that's... It's got a pretty cool cap as well. 
It looks. And this is called. I mean, it's in 144p for me at the moment, so I can't read it. Yeah, <laughs> but so it'll be called, crystal. Called... It'll be crystal clear when it comes out onto the thing. Yeah. yeah. So tobacco absolute. It's what it's called. Mm. Molten brown. It's oh, it's lovely stuff. It's potent. <laughs> potent. <sighs> but it's it's. See, that smells good. Mm. So when you say smell of cigarettes, yeah, it depends what you mean. Yeah. The, the, this category. As the cigarette's being smoked, yeah, horrible. Oh. But tobacco, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, good, good, good link there. With yeah. The, with what we did on the fragrance. Yeah, I like it. I don't, I, I like don't it. just come up with these poignant questions. Ra- well, I do come up with no. these poignant questions completely randomly. It's just my thoughts, <laughs> you know, my thoughts. Of the no, but well remembered. Yeah. Uh, so number seven, I've just written down <laughs> maths. <laughs> yeah, I okay. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to start on well, this. I'm a nerd, right? <laughs> there's, no, there's no other word for it. I'm a nerd. Um, and I like you when you uh, blah, 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 um <clears throat> i'm just going to get my sims impression out of the way there um <laughs> sims impression. i was wondering what that little diamond was above your head <laughs> it's probably the reason why my life is so <laughs> secretly somebody said right sim go and talk to the the inanimate object <laughs> and ask it if it's alive oh, are you alive <laughs> You should walk like a sim as well. <laughs> as, long as, I, as long as I don't refer to it as woohoo, then we're all fine, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, woohoo. Um, I forgot about <laughs> So, your Instagram and TikTok and those minder scrolling applications that you can have they t- they obviously form to what your interest seems to be so um at the moment i get a lot of um oh god what do i <laughs> my phone's good sorry i don't know why i'm laughing i'm just i don't know what i'm expecting i don't know what you're gonna say well, i get quite a lot of interesting i get quite a lot of dog videos <clears throat> um i get a lot of sports and taekwondo and gym videos and things like that but i also get and then i get that a smattering of other bits and pieces um but one of the things that started to seem to seems to have started to crop up is maths videos <laughs> just maths videos okay. so there's a guy the, the one i've linked from instagram is a, is um andy andymath.com and <laughs> he's he just does maths. There's no other word for it. Like he'll get a quadratic equation or he'll solve like a graph or, you know, something, something, you know, something different or like that. Um, uh, and he always ends it in this really dulcet tone. How exciting. <laughs> and it just makes you chuckle every time. How, How exciting. exciting. Um, but the one How thing exciting. I did learn, um, Caprica's constant. Which I didn't know this. So it is the number 6,174, which is known as Caprica's Constant. Um, So if you order 6,174 in descending order, so 7,641, and then you take away the ascending order, so 1,467, you will, so, you know, uh, so 7,641 minus 1,467, <laughs> you will get right. 6174. And apparently, any number, any four-digit number in any in doing that and constantly doing that with the results. So if you take, for example, uh, 1459, so you do... 9541 minus 1459 gives you 8082. Uh, so you then put again in descending and ascending order. Uh, so 8820 minus 0288, you get 8532. So 8532 minus 2358 gives you 6174. So no matter what four digit number, if you take the <clears throat> What the fuck? Yeah, if you take the descending order and minus the ascending order and you do that for an 
and in for X amount of times, you will always get to 6174, which because 6174, so um, because then you, you'd end up doing 7641 minus 1467, that will still give you 6174. Now, I don't know if you're frozen or whether you're... Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, no, I, I, well, I'm, I'm physically frozen because <laughs> I am properly blown away by yeah. that. That is what the fringe? exactly. I've never heard, I've never what? heard of that. I'm literally. I was just when you said, I don't know if you're frozen. I'm literally. <laughs> you know when they say it's, it's like stunned silence. Yeah. That was actual stunned. So I'm going thinking what? that's something cool. That's what? something cool that I've learned about maths that I didn't know before. And I was like, that's amazing. Like, what the heck? I did not know that. I've never no, heard no, of no. it. Never heard of it. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna. No, I'm so tempted. No. Don't get distracted, Jerry. I'm. You know what I'm doing after this podcast gonna be, recording, don't you? He's going to be taking numbers and and doing that. Yeah. Well, no, I, I'm going to be worse as an engineer. I'm, I would love to write a program that you gave it a four digit number, and it would tell you how many iterations it would take to get to six uh, six one seven four. That's the type of thing that I would like to do. That's so cool. That's so cool. And I was like, honestly, I'm blown away like, by that. And I'm like, the the I was about to say the inner nerd, but I'm also an outer nerd as well, I suppose, aren't I? So I'm just the nerd. <laughs> I was like, maths is cool. What the heck? <laughs> you're like, what? You're nerd on the outside. You think Let, let's just like cut through Dom and see what's on the. Oh yeah, there's more nerd. <laughs> it was a nerd filling. It's a nerd filling. It's like a nerd <laughs> yeah. outer shell with nerd filling. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A creamy, creamy There's nerd no filling. There's no creamy nerd okay. filling here. <laughs> it's all, it's okay. all hard shell. <laughs> <laughs> like a stick I'm of a rock. Gold, I'm a break you, stopper. Just goes, nerd. <laughs> I'm a jawbreaker, that's it. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah. Okay. Matt is, that's why I was like, that's pretty cool. I wanted to just kind of sneak that in. But also, like, there's, there's other bits that he does that I was like, that. And then it's just a... How exciting! <laughs> yeah, how exciting! That, that is bloody exciting, though. Jeez, <laughs> Louise, I love it. Oh dear, I'm love hoping it. I've blown someone's. I this God, this podcast. What the heck is this podcast? You, well, you've blown my mind. Uh, that's honestly, like I say, that was stunned silence. <laughs> I'm like, what? What the what fringe? The right, right. <clears throat> number. I want to say, yeah, eight. Uh, instant noodles. <laughs> eight. Okay. Not a massive fan. Oh, really? I'm surprised. You do it out of ne- yeah. Well, you do it out of necessity. Hmm. If you've literally got nothing else in the house, and you think, oh, just I'm a bit mm-hmm. peckish. You wouldn't have it as a main meal. So it's for Let's a start. Just go back to the cereal conversation. <laughs> yeah, this goes back to the cereal thing. So you have it as a snack. You just go, oh shit, I'm I'm feeling a bit peckish. I'll have some instant noodles. Um, a bit. This is funny com- coming from the person to instant that, noodles. Like, where both of us are not, well, chefs, shall we say. We're not c- we're great, great cooks. Um, or do you just have your staples? Yeah. I'm not a great cook. I'm not a bad cook. I'm not a no, great okay. cook. No, I would never go on... on um, uh, Master Chef. Master Chef, thank you. So I would I would never do that. I mean, I'd fail miserably. But there are some stuff that I can. There are things that I can cook. So there's some Indian dishes and Middle Eastern dishes, like Persian mm. dishes and things, which I can cook, and they're, and they're they're pretty damn tasty. So I'm mm. I'm good at doing those. But that's that's food I've sort of grown up with, which is yeah. why I can cook it. I don't I don't really go beyond that. But instant noodles, they're not bad. But it's just. The interesting thing about instant noodles is you eat instant noodles mm. and you you just know that there's literally zero nutrition. <laughs> That's true. Isn't there? You, yeah. you, you literally would... No. I, I, I might as well just eat my diary. It's got about <laughs> as much nutritional value as instant noodles, right? So these instant noodles tell you the cal- cal- calorie count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Going back to earlier. <laughs> yeah, well, there's zero fat in this diary. That diary is not 30 grams. <laughs> no, that's true. It's a lot heavier. It's At least it'll fill you up. <laughs> Hashtag just saying. <laughs> 
What's <laughs> interesting is I used a phrase the other day, Joe, that I'd never thought I would use. <laughs> I used a phrase, hmm, I'm beginning to enjoy cooking. <laughs> Whoa, what a I steady, know, easy. I know, I easy whoa. Gone. Steady on. Yep. Well, mm. I think that's really good. Yeah. Because I think is. you start, because I I do think there's something about, um, in fact, so here's something interesting. So there's a dish, it's a Persian dish, mm-hmm. it's saffron chicken. It's very, very nice. Is it saffron like a million pounds a gram or something like that? Uh, no, it's about nine hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> One million. Mm. No, it's it's um it is expensive. Mm. Um, actually, I know a couple of places where you can get saffron. Not dodgy, by the way. So was, I know it sounds dodgy. It's coming across as a bit dodge, but it's not dodgy. <laughs> but there are Jerry doesn't you... deal in. Jerry doesn't deal in like yeah, weed I'm not or cocaine. Yeah. He deals yeah, yeah, in yeah. saffron. You want, some, you want some saffron? Yeah. What's some saffron? The, um, I've got you in like one of those large trench those coats, coats, and yeah. you just go like that, and it's a bunch of spices. Yeah. <laughs> saffron, one bit of cinnamon, <laughs> a bit, of, how about a bit of cloves. <laughs> At least you won't be attacked by a vampire. <laughs> Want some red peppercorn? <laughs> um, yeah. So this dish mm. is uh, it's amazing. And the difference between this dish being very, very mediocre mm. and really tasty like it should be has got nothing to do with the ingredients. It's how you cook it. Yes. Because the, the actual basic ingredients are are so basic. Mm-hmm. So it's how long you fry the onions for. It's how long you let the, the mm. dish simmer. Um, it's how much you brown the chicken. As you fry it, and what sort of and what sort of heat, and, the, and that's what I love about cooking. I do enjoy that element of it. And once you got the bug, when you make when you make something, and you think, God, that that turned out mm. really well, um, because I think it is an art. Mm. I do think it's an art form to, yeah. to to cook a really nice dish. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And <clears throat> where I'm doing, you know, these like pre-built packaged things, and it's got the instructions for me, like. There's been a couple of times I've eaten it. I've gone, this tastes really good. And then it's quite therapeutic to kind of get things. <clears throat> it varies. You've made it. And uh, you've made it, Dom. Uh, voice crack. Um, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there has been a couple of times where, interestingly, the longer dishes are, are better because it's like, right, prep this. Then it goes in the oven at this point. Then prep this. And then it goes in the oven at this point. Whereas some of the shorter dishes is like, prep this, do this in two so fucking Have this cut. You've got to cut an <laughs> onion in, in 33 seconds. Like, Jesus. What? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the shorter dis- dis- dishes are more, like the shorter time dishes are more stressful because you have to kind of throw knives and food around the place to try and get it done. So Yeah, and yes. you've got less less margin for error. Yes. A- oh, absolutely. Well. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. when it's like, when the instructions say like, chop your pepper and chop your onion and then your pepper goes in for three minutes, you go, yes. I should have done the the pepper and the onion, not the pepper, and then thought, I'll chop the onion while that's in there. And you suddenly go, crap, I've got to chop an onion in 33 seconds. It's like, ah, that's true. And stir the pepper. And, and oh, stir that's, the that's pepper. To stick to it, yeah. It's like, I need yeah. another hand. That's all right, I've got a wok. So that was one of the best purchases I got was a wok. Yeah, love love a wok. Good old wok. Um, point at question number eight. Uh, wireless earbuds. So there are <laughs> things like so, AirPods uh, or the equivalent for whichever reputable brand that you wish to use. So, yeah, and I've got I've got some Samsung ones here. I think they're great. I I think as an invention, they're brilliant. Mm. Um, the only problem, and I don't know if it's just me, but I'll, I'll squish them into my ears, and then after about. <laughs> Two or three minutes, they'll start sort of... That's not what you've written in the notes, by the way. You haven't written it yet. <laughs> what did I put? Oh, yeah, lug holes. <laughs> yeah. So you jam them in your lug holes and think, God, just stay in there, you bastard. And then <laughs> and then they slowly start coming out. And it's interesting. You don't. It happens so slowly over the course of about three to five minutes. And you'll be listening to something and then you think, why is God? <laughs> quiet why is 
volume on that's got a bit odd. And then you jam it back into your ear and they go, oh, yeah, that'll be the reason why, because it's like now half sticking out. So I don't know I, if it's just me, but that's what happens. Are you are your ear ones got like the little inner ear, like, like yes. little black foam yeah. ones? Okay, so I have um, AirPods, which are, <clears throat> they don't go in your ear type thing. They're, you know, they're like normal headphones that you used to get without the little inner ear bit. Yes, and I've used Rachel's and I, AirPods and they do the same thing, by the way. What they slowly slip out? From yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. Got weird. Have you got weird ears? Then very <laughs> odd. My ears basically don't like to be. <laughs> they, they don't like intruders. So would you have the same problem with wired headphones? I suppose is the question. No, no, these are okay. Although I have to, you know, I have to. For example, no, no, I mean, obviously these don't get shunted out by your they ears. Are, Jerry, they are. Look, they're slowly going mean... out. Ah! <laughs> you absolute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the why? I'm no, done. I know what you mean. I'm so done on this podcast. <laughs> no, no, I'm so done with this podcast. No, no, no. I thought, I thought, you know what? I'll do the wind up. But I know what you mean. Like these. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They do exactly the same thing. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fine. So it's it's not specific to wireless ones. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's just specific. <laughs> it's specific to in air headphones. <laughs> Yeah, because if you look at your headphones do you, do you, now, listeners, do you see what I have to work away. with? Right, I have to work with this man. <laughs> you only on this podcast, not on the day to day. That's true. <laughs> but look, if I'm looking at your headphones, they're about a centimeter from your ear. <laughs> no, no, these are not. Yeah, these further, are like <laughs> they're further out. In fact, this is probably one of the few times that people have seen my ears. Look, oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to... Anyone watching this with an ear fetish? You've just made their day. No, no, You've no, made no. their day. Don't, don't, because <laughs> that is an actual thing. I'm sure, and that, yeah, that, I'm that sure, just, I'm sure it is. That makes me feel wrong on many levels, like taking a crap in an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> wrong on many <laughs> levels. Oh my god, this is the craziest episode we've done. I, I love it. Is this going to be the first episode that you turn around and say to me, Jerry? I think I don't think this was better than our last one. <laughs> I mean, okay, the last one had like the highest of high bars. Yeah, I think this is. I think this is unique, if nothing else. Right? It's, it's an interesting flavor. Like a, you get those jelly beans. You know, you get jelly beans that have. You, you eat one and you go, "What the fringe." What flavour is that? What is that? It's an odd-looking light brown colour. What is that? It's not chocolate. It's not coffee. What is it? You know, Peak. oh, oh. <laughs> it's mud. It's slug flavour. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. It's a Ralph. Oh, different <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Oh my god. With an F, anyway. by the way. It's not PH. <laughs> no, it's, with an F. <laughs> it's with an F. What's that? R A. L F R A U is it U? U? Where where did the U come in? No. Is it it's like there's no I in team. <laughs> you can't say that phrase. Actually, Sorry, there is, L. It is there is an I in team. It's in the A hole. <laughs> but you'd have to draw it you'd have to draw that out. In fact I might draw we that. We can't say the video. other quote that I'm gonna say. No, no, oh. no, no, I don't know what you're say. <laughs> We can't say that one. No. That requires a lot of bleeping. <laughs> Anyway, wireless earbuds, best invention ever, by the way. Yeah, they are great. They just I've just got weird ears, so that's <laughs> wireless, my issue. Wireless is so good. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realise how much my gym like gym was so much easier with the wireless headphones. Yeah. Right, the last one on poignant <laughs> questions, double denim. Why not triple denim? So Okay, so you can get away with it. You can. You're going to make your underpants like tr- denim no. as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Quadruple denim. You wear like denim socks. No, actually, you can. You can. So triple <laughs> denim would be right. No, triple denim would be denim trousers, denim, denim jeans, normal jeans. Why am I saying denim jeans? Jeans, and jeans, they're <laughs> denim. So jeans, a denim shirt, and a denim jacket. That's triple. That's triple trouble right there. <laughs> right, but. <laughs> <laughs> denim jeans <laughs> denim jeans oh, I tell you what this week just what the fringe 
I get to tell you my Pink Panther joke in a minute. <laughs> oh, go on then. No, go on, tell me now. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what are the Pink Panther's clothes made from? Denim. 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 Love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a proper dad joke. That's a proper dad joke. That's a proper dad joke. Oh, so double dear. denim, yeah, it's you can, you can, you can get away with it. So you can wear a, a, a denim shirt, right? And like a blue denim shirt and a black denim jacket, you can do it. Yeah, that okay, I, that's acceptable. Otherwise, yeah. I don't think I've ever owned anything upper half denim. I yeah, don't you think can, I can pull it off. You can't go David Hasselhoff with this. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> you, you can't wear the same you shade of denim. <laughs> no, don't go full half. Only the half can go full half. Full half, exactly. Yeah. Um, yes. No, I, I don't think I ever have. And the, the quadruple denim just sounds quadruple. Yeah, I'm trying to think. <laughs> denim socks, denim trousers. I know you can get denim shoes. Yes, you can. You're right. You can. <laughs> denim shoes, you can. Denim socks, denim trousers, denim denim underwear, denim shirt, denim, denim jacket. underwear. You might as well just go commando. <laughs> denim underwear. You know how badly that would chafe. It would chafe like a. Oh, you'd be walking like John Wayne for weeks. <laughs> Why do you think John Wayne walked like that? <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Do you know this is all making sense? <laughs> this is all making sense now. I had nothing to do with the horses. No, it wasn't. He was, he was commando. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Probably chafed. It was commando. Uh, in it was commando chafing. Oh, God. Honestly. <laughs> We're going to have to call it there, I think. I, I yeah. We'll, if, if, <laughs> if, listeners, there is more after this, it's because... I've edited this podcast, sent it to Jeremy. We've gone, we should really do some more because it's a cluster. But I think no, I this love podcast, the fact that this is, this is, this is, <laughs> I'm not going to apologize because I've, this is one of the most fun. The most, this is the most fun I've had in an evening. <sighs> oh There's been God. a couple of times like, ah, oh, the internet. <laughs> but this but, is funny. But this has been funny. I, I don't think I've lost control like that. For a long time. <laughs> no, I, I think that both of us have just totally lost at this podcast. Um, I'm going to finish my little bit with, <laughs> with the joke that I heard just before this, which is a um, man goes for a job interview and they go, what do you think your greatest weakness is? And he goes, I'm too honest. And they go, we don't think that's a weakness. I don't give a fringe what you think. <laughs> I don't give a fringe. Can you, imagine, <laughs> can you imagine doing me. that in an interview? Can you imagine doing that? I would love to do that. Did I ever tell you about the interview that I had pre-joining where we where I currently am? No. Um. So back in 2014 when I was going, <laughs> no 2012 when I was going for my first uh, placement, um, I interviewed to be um, desktop support rather than uh, uh, a developer, and. There was a there was a there was a technical test where they gave us a broken computer, and we were supposed to do it. I was supposed to do it with my the partner, but he was too busy asking questions like, "Where's the manual?" Do da da, and I just picked it up and went, oh, "Hang on a minute." Turned it on, it beeped, and went, "Oh yeah, with a, something wrong with the RAM." <laughs> Opened it up, went, "Oh yeah, the RAM's not plugged in." Plug, turned it back over, plugged it back in, and pressed it, and it booted up. And it was all great. So I passed the technical test easy without supposed to be a pairing technical test. <laughs> yeah, <chatting. laughs> and he got literally as he went, right, I think we're ready to start. And I went, I think it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Done it. It's the anyway, rhyme. during the interview, they, um, they asked, this was separate, but they asked me, they said, um, how do you rate your technical knowledge? And I said, oh, average to above average. And they're like, you don't rate yourself excellent. I went, no, I don't. Not really. Not 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 one hundred percent. Um, I, I was. Uh, this is this was my interview tactic, which is, to be honest. And they said, "Well, what happens if you don't know how to solve a problem?" And I went, "Well, I'll Google it." Well, what do you mean? I said, 
Well, if I don't know, you're not paying me to know the answer <laughs> to something immediately. You're paying me to be able to Google the problem and interpret the solution from Google and apply it to the specific scenario that yeah, you currently got here, point. which is actually yeah. a fairly good, a yeah. fairly good thing. And <laughs> I think the bit that, that really killed them off is they were like, "So, I mean, that's that sounds pretty good." And I said, "Yeah, you're just paying me to be a, a, a Google translator. That's all, that's all this na- this job is. It's a Google oh, translator." Wait. Oh my god! And you think that's along the lines of <laughs> too honest? They phoned me up ten minutes after the interview to offer me the job. <laughs> Dom, that's amazing. I know. Sometimes being honest in a job interview, it, you know, because it just shows who I was. I was like, I, I don't know the answer. I'm just going to Google it. Right, but yeah, but it shows you're resourceful. Yeah. <laughs> And it shows you're self-sufficient. Yeah. Because what what would you do? Oh, I don't know. I'd find somebody that knows. Or what I would was, escalate it. What was or, ironic is I was stood at the side of the road uh, on the way back from the John Vintu because my exhaust had fallen off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> More ironic about that is my car was in for an MOT the day before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this passed. Flying colours. No, the, re- uh, the reason why the exhaust fell off is they dropped it off the ramp and they snapped my exhaust. <laughs> <and tell me. laughs> Good job they did that after your MOT. Well, they, yeah, they passed my MOT. Oh. And then they... Now let's just wreck this thing. So when I say, oh, my life, <laughs> right, boring. <Yeah. laughs> there are elements of it that sometimes I, <laughs> I look back and I go, did that actually happen to me? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It was great. What? I sounded, and, and it was in Swindon, so I sounded like every other car in there because my car was going <laughs> yeah. down the road. As the other lowered cars and yeah. everything. <laughs> Like Tokyo Drift type of game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they were still. The You're c- exhaust, mate. They were courses as well. <laughs> the like... courses, yeah, with a big fat exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, but they're still nice. running the one liter engine that it originally yeah. comes with. Yeah, it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of sizzle, but no sausage, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I was trying to think of a, a polite phrase to do it. Oh man. Ah, oh, Dom. Jerry, give us your final thoughts on this podcast. What? Really? Final thoughts? <laughs> uh, you know what? Okay, fine. On a serious note, final thoughts. Um, I think, d- despite all the challenges, so despite the technical challenges and despite the challenges that life throws us, you know, we set out to to do a podcast where we said, you know what, we'll just we'll just do our thing and have a laugh doing it. And mm. I think I think this episode epitomizes that. God knows if anyone's going to enjoy it or not. I have no idea. People might be listening to this thinking, Oh, good lord, these two have just gone off on one. Yeah. But I think there is a section where there's it. about there's about twenty seconds where it's just us in oh. silent fits of giggles. So listeners, I very encourage you to go over to YouTube to watch it. Oh, so funny. So, fu- yeah. So those are my final thoughts. And, and, and just the funniest thing, I like I say, is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep reminding you of this. Is, are you You're alive? Gonna, it's going to be, that, that'll come up on something. Like, if I ever leave. It will. If I ever leave the company we work for, you will find that clip and you will send it to be sent oh. to everybody. We should turn it into like a, you know how they do like frozen swimming pool fail with the guy that goes to... <laughs> Right, but they do it like a ten-hour loop or something, <laughs> yeah. like that. Are you alive on a ten-hour loop? The, the Are thing, you alive? When you said that, the, the thing, the thing that comes to my mind is Brian Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon's alive, <laughs> and that, my friends, my listeners, my viewers, Jerry, I think it's time to end the podcast before we truly lose our oh marbles. My God. Um, I'm not going to apologize for this podcast. I think it's been thoroughly entertaining. Yes. Uh, please do like, subscribe, <laughs> leave us a rating. You you know the usual spiel. We, um, we'll be back. We've got a guest. We potentially have a guest for next month. Um, and we might have solved some of these technical difficulties. Maybe having a guest just is the thing that keeps your internet alive. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, but last time, uh, well, we need to, <laughs> oh God. We'll figure we'll it out. We'll do it earlier. We'll figure it out. I think it, I think earlier <laughs> where we're just like spitballing. <laughs> we're actually signing off, and now we're getting into a whole debate. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll do it earlier, but let's start solutionizing. <laughs> let's not sign off the podcast. Let's start solutionizing now, right now.
Let's do it. This is what everyone wants to hear. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you very much for watching, listeners. Listen, we do appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs>